Hey everybody, this is Vance with FishingWithVance.com. It's, uh, I think it's July, around the July the 30th. And uh, I'm out here at my lake by myself. Uh, just decided last minute to do a little uh, quick night bite. Uh, catter's working, high life's not around. So, did a quick, I'm just gonna come and fish the night bite here. It's about five o'clock. I'm actually here a little earlier than I wanted to be, but uh, you know what the heck so I just did my solo launch that you guys have seen many times on the uh, on uh, our channel where I demonstrated the solo launch with the table uh, tonight I think my strategy is going to be is I'm here a little early and it is a little sunny I do have a little bit of a, a little bit of a wind uh, blowing towards you know Vance Island over there which you know, can only be a good thing so but I think until the Sun gets down a little lower I am going to try to pitch this jig, this black and blue jig with a yum, um, with a yum frog or trailer. I'm going to throw that and try to pitch that all into the into the shade, all up around uh, the outside. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to get try a little better, get a little better with this jig. So we'll see what happens. Um, pitch that for a while and see if I can't catch some. I have uh, obviously a worm rod. I only came with three rods tonight because uh, I'm not, you know, I'm only going to be here for a few hours. So I um, have my tube, my blue tube ready to go in case I can't catch anything. That usually comes through. And then I have a, uh, uh, on my uh, uh, Fenwick Eagle 6'6 uh, six, six medium rod, I have the, uh, actually it's a medium light I believe. Just double check that real quick. Yeah, it's a medium light with moderate action. It's a six foot rod. Sorry. Uh, I have that paired up with uh, my favorite, uh, my very favorite uh, reel, the, the Fluger President. It's the, uh, the 6930, I believe. Yes, it is. So I love this combo. Right now I have a, a golden purple fleck worm on there. I'll probably eventually switch that. I'm going to try to throw that ribbon worm a little bit more. Uh, and uh, the yum ribbon worm and if I can't catch anything on those and I'll probably end up with uh, you know some KVD perfect plastics on here uh, either the watermelon fleck or the uh, uh, purple blue fleck worm but for now we'll see what we can do uh, just hope I catch a few fish one one little challenge tonight is uh, I did not bring a net so I don't normally net fish when I'm by myself because it's Sometimes that can be challenged by its in and of itself, but you know if I happen to you know hook into pop a pump again, it could get interesting trying to get him in. But uh, hey, that's a good problem to have if uh, happen to catch pop a pump on that big on that big uh, jig. But uh, we'll have to lip them or we'll figure it out. Hopefully that's a problem I have, and uh, we'll go from there. But uh, generally the fish we catch in here, I should be able to just swing them in and. They get off, oh well. Um, I'd still rather be fishing without a net than not fishing at all. So it's my fault I forgot it. But hopefully I come back there with some fish. I'm going to head into the corner into that shade. See if I can't uh, pitch this jig into the shade into right up against the bank there into some some timber and some lay downs and things like that and catch a few fish. So enough talking. Let's get to fishing. Fish on. Didn't throw the jig in there yet. I'm going to throw this worm up in here. I just had a hit. And uh, I missed them. But I know there's some pretty heavy timbers in here. I don't want to lose my jig right out of the bat. So let's see, I should be able to get this worm in and out of there. Let's see if I can sneak something back out of that. Oh, yeah, there he is. Look at him run all this. Ah, uh, just a bluegill. Yeah, he must be a bluegill. Let's give him another chance. Run away. Uh, no. <laughs> it's a little bass, I think. Yep. Oh, oh, that little. And there he was up in that shade. Oh man, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Fish number one. Pitch and shade. All right, I'm gonna try. 
my life and I normally don't come all the way down into this dead corner because we know there's huge trees in here. But I'm gonna sneak down in here. I got a weedless mojo worm on and just really pick these corners and just see. I might get hung up, but uh, might also catch a big dog in here too. See that tree right there? You gotta pay. So, this is a terrible job of flipping, I know that. Let's see if anybody's home back by, by, by that tape, back by, by that tire. Probably never get him out of there, but what the heck. Let's give it a shot. Fish one. Oh yeah. Get him out of there. Yeah. Come on. Come on. <laughs> he was back there. By the tire. That's a good fish too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, buddy. You were hanging out back there. Oh man, that's that's what you get when you flip back in the corner. Pretty decent fish living back there. I'm sure, high life will enjoy this footage. But that's why she's done right there. I pitched that soft worm in there; it's gone. And this guy got it, and I just jacked him out of there. And uh, man, that was fun. Love, love that kind of fishing. Pitching in there and he smoked it. All right, let's get the release. See you, brother. Fishingwithants.com. Hey, everybody, this is Vance again. Obviously, fishingwithants.com. That fish I just caught out of the corner there, he, uh, he took the last of my gold and purple fleck. Actually, I left the packet in my waders. So, I've been wanting to try these uh these smart baits um i think i have got one in one of his uh in his mystery tackle box subscription and he got a uh, i think a sanko and uh, he started killing them with it and this this is the this is the bait that changes colors it's called smart baits uh, and he caught a bunch of uh, a bunch of bass on a um on a sanko type bait so we went ahead and uh, just like anything else, you catch fish, you uh, go out and buy some more. So we're going to try, and since I caught some, you know, big pop of pump over there on a ribbon worm. Oh, this thing's pretty big. Uh, right over there, as High Life would call Teepee Town. We thought we'd try old Robbie Ribbon here from Smart Baits. So I'm going to put this on and watch it change colors. And then hopefully catch a fish. That's a pretty, pretty big worm. So I should, if something hits this, it should be pretty good sized. So let's do our thing, Robbie, Robbie Ribbon. And I can't wait to see what color he turn. That's half the fun. <laughs> Actually, it's not, but it's still fun. <laughs> Fishingwithpants.com. I, I just saw the smart bait. This little dude smacked it hooked himself and there's fish number one on the on the smart bait mm. Robbie Ribbon good job right, I'm back at the scene of the crime here a spot known as uh, teepee town uh, my partner usually has me pitching in here. I got the Robbie ribbon in here. Something just hit this. Oh, man. It's a bass. <laughs> See, the crime's a little guy, but he was in TP Town. You gotta love it. Robbie ribbon so far doing his job. 
FishingVans.com. I got one up against the shade and Robbie Ribbon. Oh, that's a nice fish too. He smoked Robbie Ribbon. <laughs> oh man. I think I like this Robbie Ribbon. A bad bass hitting the Robbie ribbon that has changed to I don't know like a motor oil color. Pretty sweet. Fish number five. Gotta love it. Got a nice one here on the Robbie ribbon. Out of the shade. He gave me this little jump. There he is. They're liking this Robbie ribbon, baby. These guys are digging this Robbie ribbon. I'm telling you. Down in the corner, right? Oh, this guy out of, <laughs> out of shade. Gotta love it. The Eagle Fluger. Fish number seven. Boink off the boat. Bobby Ribbon's getting child, and he's putting on a show. That's seven fish. Gotta love it. I'm gonna show you what I'm using here again, guys. This is the Smart Baits, uh, the Robbie Ribbon, and uh, I've caught seven bass on it. I've been here, I don't know, maybe about a little over an hour, maybe an hour. And all I've been doing is just throwing up into the sh into the shade with this ribbon worm. Now this guy, he's he's been chewed off a couple times and shortened, you know, Vance style, biting the head off to get a better uh, place to put my hook in, but. Uh, He's caught seven bass, showing, throwing up shallow. You know, these are, uh, you know, these are ten-inch long ribbon worms, and they're catching some quality fish too. I will say, but uh, and it's supposed to change colors. It looks like it, it doesn't need to, based on the color right now. It's staying this, this uh, green and and black fleck, or maybe a little red in there. Almost looks like the watermelon fleck. But all I know is it's working. So. Check these out, smart baits. Uh, they have a whole line of, of uh, different things you can you can get. Those of you who aren't familiar with them, you get the smart bomb, a paddle bait, a grub. I might try that grub next. Um, you know, mighty minnow. If there's you guys that like a fluke type bait, and I'm right now I'm throwing this uh, uh, Robbie ribbon. So I like worms, obviously, and uh, I'll have to try this Fiona finesse. That'll be my next next one because uh, my partner already threw the smart bomb so right now I'm throwing Robbie ribbon maybe I'll try the Fiona finesse but uh, right now I'm having fun throwing the Robbie ribbons catch a nice bass so check them out smart baits uh, swim bait doing work Robbie ribbon it's not huge but pretty nice fish out of the corner here he's either I don't know a nice fish. He's foul hooked. I may not get the poor guy, but come on in, buddy. <laughs> oh man, got to foul hook, bro. There we go. Yeah, little man. Fish number nine. FishingAdvance.com on her Robbie Ribbon. Got another one up in the corner. It's a nice one. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. Fishingwithvance.com. This guy came and smashed it. It's a beauty. Fish number 10. Pretty fish. Fishingwithvance.com. Robbie Ribbon's doing work. He housed that thing. 
a little bit of a modified rig. I'm shoving a split shot right down on the head of it to make it dive a little bit, almost like a modified Texas rig. And man, it's working. This fish number 10, they've all been pretty nice. shallows pitch my jig up in a corner and there's the black and blue jig at it again I gotta get better with this jig There he was. Back in the corner. Good stuff. This is a pretty good one. He's on the blue tube. Where is he? Get out of there. Come on, buddy. There we go. A little blue tube action. He housed it. Fish number 15. Got a pretty decent boil in here. He hit the blue tube. Oh yeah. No net, but he's a nice one. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. Real nice bass. Well, it's fishing with Vance.com. I didn't quite make 20. Caught 19 tonight, which isn't bad. Gonna blast in, call it a night. We got a bunch of shore fishermen here. These guys here going around Van Salen, so I'm gonna roll it in, call it a night. So, as they say, we're heading in, Brody. Thank Christ. Looks like these guys are moving together. They actually have a little fire going on over there, which is crazy. They're next to the truck, but eh, what are you gonna do? They're having fun. <laughs> so, fishing with Vans. Dot com. Bow, bow.